There's a pastoral opening that we suggest any time you, you sit in front of a book. You don't want to be hunched over like this and leaning on, especially on your left side, where you're into a lot of auditory. You want to generally be somewhat upright, shoulders back. Stand up for a moment and try this out and get a feeling for it. As you stand here just the way you are, notice the energy across the center of your chest. Now gently pull your arms uh, just a few inches away from the body and turn your palms forward. Okay? Pull your arms away and turn your palms forward and feel the energy difference in your chest. Can you feel that? Okay, put your arms back. Feel the shift. Again, turn your palms out. There's an opening of the energy across the midline of the body. We want this heart center open. We want this Dantian Hara, this the center of your power to be open to the material that you're taking in. Okay? Good. Have a seat. Now, energy clearing is a fairly simple technique. I'm having you sit so that you can watch this for a sec. There, there are places, the frontal, what is the frontalis, what? Uh, the frontal eminences. Frontal eminences. Feel your skull in the front here. Your forehead where it kind of squares out, the frontal eminences. You feel it kind of squares out there? Just slightly above there, take three fingers on each hand and hold it there. These are special points that are very helpful in order to do energy clearing. Emotional stress release, right? ESR? Emotional stress release. Now, when you do this on somebody, you can hold those two points on somebody else. When you do it on your own, you can hold those points with your thumb and, and index and middle finger. Hold those two points. Your other hand, kind of like this, shaped like this, and pointed at your navel center, your Dan Tien, as a way of grounding the energy. Now, what I want you to do, so that we don't have to all hold our arms up for the whole time, is turn toward your table, rest your head on your, the heel of your hands, put, your, put that on your cheekbones, and then gently rest your fingers on those two points. So you can rest yourself like that. Now, what I'd like you to do as you do this is think about your skill as a photo reader. Make a statement to yourself of what you think of yourself as a photo reader. Now, bring in any negative that you have about yourself as a photo reader, any negative at all. And now let that go. Think about your purpose for being here as a photo reader. And envision yourself at the level of capability that you are going to achieve now. See what that looks like. Feel what that feels like. Feel that shift inside of you. Anybody feel a change in your fingertips? Feeling the energy at your fingertips? Okay, good. That's it. It's an emotional clearing technique. Now we're going to do it at another level. Chris Payne is here from England. He's going to guide us tomorrow night in a technique that will dissolve any negative emotions that you may have. Because what we want to find is the highest level of self-appreciation that is possible for you in your life. And his technique of effortful, effort-free life 
will really help you to do that. We'll show you an additional way to do this. It really opens it up for you. You're going to find negative emotions just blasting out of there, draining out. Right, Chris? What else? Anything else I should say? Excellent. So by the end of the day, you're definitely going to feel that power opening up. Now, there is a time when all of us just get really stuck in that negative space, don't we? Could we pull this up? And we're going to be working on this particular one, playing with this a little bit later in the course as well. The tap point is right here where you would do a karate chop. Thank you. Now, what I want you to do is take three or four fingers and tap right here. Okay, tap right here. And whatever negative internal dialogue you have ever had about yourself as a reader, as a photo reader, or anything else, what you do is you say, even though I tanked on the Nelson Denny test today. I thoroughly and completely accept myself. Now, you fill in your own internal dialogue, but do it three times, even though Got it? Any time over the next four days, a negative word comes out of your mouth. Your job is to notice the person in front of you who's going like this, okay? And all you're doing is have, just encouraging them to say, even though, <laughs> okay? So any negative statement that comes out of your mouth or your if a negative statement comes out of anybody else's mouth over the next four days, your job as their support mechanism is to go like this and say, even though, and let them run it on their own. Okay? Just have them do it three times. So they say, man, I just can't get the super reading thing. Even though, even though I believe I can't get this super reading thing, I thoroughly and completely accept myself. Even though I don't think I can super read, I thoroughly and completely accept myself. Do you get it? So if you have one come out of your mouth, do it. If you hear it coming out of anybody else's mouth, just encourage them. Does it change their outer world? It might, but how do we know? Until they go to their next book and start... Super reading, right? 